Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Legendia. In the last part, um, we talked to that guy, Zamoran, and he talked bad about Sven. So now we're gonna go to the man-eating ruins to look for the, um, the Everlight. That's it. So yeah, uh, first I'm gonna rest at the inn, just to, um, you know, rest. Because I equipped all those, um, you know, the, the things, and our stuff is low, so I want to replenish it at the place, so... That way I can go out and do stuff without, you know, being closer to death. So, yeah. Anyway, I have nothing to talk about. So, I'm just going to kind of blather on about random stuff. Oh, okay, here we go. Thank you for saving me, video game. Oh, Norma. I swear I'm going to find the Everlight, no matter what. And I guess that's it. Oh, okay. Ever light? Yeah, it's incredible. It's like crash, boom, bang. It's so amazing. That doesn't really tell me anything. Come on, you can't tell just from this enthusiasm? All I can tell is that you're a goofball. Aw, cut it out. You're going to make me blush. You're hopeless. The Everlight is a magical treasure that has the ability to grant wishes. Oh, come on, Master. You don't... You really need to grow up. You know, sometimes you are absolutely no fun at all. There is no one in the world as... fun as you. So young and yet so boring. Don't you have any sense of wonder? Of adventure? Where are your dreams? You spend way too much time dreaming. It's embarrassing. Then again, if it really does exist, I'd love to use it to supersize this tiny chest of mine. <laughs> impossible. Not even the Everlight can help you there. Why not? It's impossible. Hey, you don't have to rub it in. Well, when I find the Everlight, I'll go ahead and ask for you anyway. If it exists. Oh, it exists. I believe it does, so it does. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to be so totally screwed. <laughs> uh, off in his own little world again, where only Sven logic applies. Doesn't your young, innocent heart tell you to respect and support your master? Not really, no. Uh, I remember how cute you used to be. The way you used to say you'd marry me when you grew up. When the heck did I ever say that? Oh, I recall pretty clearly the time I thought it would have been nice if you said that. <laughs> Stop making up memories of things that never happened. Seriously, though, the reason you get into fights with Zamran all the time is because everything comes out of your mouth is just plain silly. Ah, Master. But Master's not my Master anymore. Er, I mean... What am I supposed to call him now that he's not my Master anymore? Don't tell me he expelled you. Sure did. Don't say it like you're happy about it. The old fool had the gall to tell me the Everlight doesn't exist. That's enough to make even me upset. You should have seen how mad I was. So, so what happened? With the veins of his on his head ready to burst, Sven yelled out, You're expelled! Get out of my sight! Then spat... Wait. You're expelled and get it... Then he spat on his adversary. You're not the one who did the expelling, stupid. Well, you know how it is. I just don't know what to do with that old man, I tell you. Man... <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> man, are you stupid? Too stupid. I mean, really, how stupid can one person get? To be honest, I was really disappointed in him. I thought he was a man full of dreams and ambitions. I thought he, of all people, would understand. But he just says the same things all the other scholars say. Isn't that what you'd, what you'd expect? Do you think that everything everyone says is always correct? Do you think that one old man's words can define the entirety of existence? 
How should I know? Nobody knows. That's precisely why it's worth pursuing. I was not, repeat, I repeat not, put here just to check someone else's answers. I want to walk with my own legs and see with my own eyes. I want to feel things for myself. But that doesn't mean you have to get yourself expelled. No matter what anyone says, I will continue my search for the Everlight. Listen to me! For that is my dream. Oh, I said listen! And no one can stop me! Well, at least now we know where she got it from. No matter how often I remember him, he still sounds like a goofball. Just thinking about him helps me forget all my troubles. Okay, you man-eating ruins, time to meet your match! Yeah, I think they might already be there. And back. And already found the Everlight five dungeons later. <laughs> okay. No use turning back, off to the man-eating ruins! Yeah, yeah, we know. The name almost makes me want to turn back. <laughs> Not that scary, come on. Okay. Man-eating, there it is. <sighs> okay. So now we get to go through the man-eating ruins again. But hey, at least I know my way through this place. It's not confusing like the frickin' waterways. Alright, let's go! Charge! Or not. Uh, guys, I'm not really feeling the love right now. In fact, I'm feeling kind of stupid doing this all by myself. Then don't do that. But that wouldn't be any fun! Yes, Norma's right. Things are always better when they're fun. I knew you'd understand, G-Girl. Charge! Or not. According to my research, the Everlight should be somewhere deep within this place. What is the Everlight, exactly? We can't very well search for it if we don't know what what it looks like. I don't know what it looks like either. <laughs> it's highly unlikely there's anyone who does. What do you mean? The legend of the Everlight started with some. Def Wait. The legend of the Everlight started with some deciphered Relaris uh, writings. A scholar translated the text from a stone tablet found on the legacy. The Crystal of Prayer, by its miraculous power, grants the path of salvation to those who speak unto it their desires. Yes, that's right. Later on, someone gave that crystal the name Everlight. I see, so it was born out of research on the legacy. Is the translation correct? We don't know that either. Even today, there hasn't been much progress in deciphering Rolaris. Back when the stone tablet was first discovered, it was the object of some very intense study. But now, most research organizations presume that the Everlight does not exist, so no one looks for it anymore. Anyway, that's why nobody knows what it looks like. How the hell are we supposed to find something without like that? Especially with all them eggheads said don't... Wait. Especially with all them eggheads saying it don't even exist. Hey, people, I know that look. That's your Norma's crazy look. Oh, Norma, you're still not feeling any love, are you? <laughs> All right, let's go, people. Charge! Or not. Come this far, we better stick with her. What, were you just gonna leave her? Come on. Looks like you're already here. Just go. God, so mean. And, you know, that'd be a colossal dick move. It's like, yeah, well, you know, your search sounds stupid, so we're just going to move on to the next character quest. You can just you can just go home. Let the adults talk. Like, could you imagine if they didn't? It's like, oh my god. You guys are horrible. <laughs> you guys are terrible friends. <laughs> oh, well. Can I have a Galf, please? Undead Hopperfly? That's kind of cool. Indignation. No. Eh. Ow. 
Oh well, hey, at least now everybody has way more health. So that's nice. Oh my god, stop with that! Ugh, oh, I'm getting over there to kill that thing. Oh my god, stop it! There we go, thank you. Automaton, do you mind pissing off, please? Wow, it just killed me. Holy crap. Okay. Um, okay, Moses, you shall use a life bottle on me. And wow, this is just a freaking random ass enemy. Die! Ugh. And you lose all your TP from that too? Thank you. The enemies in here suck. Okay, there we go. No. Nope, nope. You are not flying away. Good. Whoa! Why did I jump that high? Did you see that? That was weird. <laughs> I guess in slow-mo it makes you jump higher for some reason. I don't know why. Like it thinks you're floating or something? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm just glad I can get through here really quickly because I know the exact way through. Screw you. I do not care about items. Goodbye. Okay. Grrr. I am angry at the fact that these enemies have appeared to fight me. Okay, now wait. Oh my god, no. No. Okay, stop it. Okay. Running. No. Stop with indignation. Stop with extension. Get out of there. Okay, good. It's like, screw you guys. I'm not fighting you. Oh my god. No. Yeah, hit Chloe. I don't care about Chloe. Okay. Ooh, good. Oh my god. I'm not fighting three of you. Jeez, that would suck. Thank you. God. <laughs> I hate it sometimes when it just decides to not load. Like, it takes a while, even though we were just in the same area it's trying to load. It's like, why are you taking so long? <laughs> Especially because it's this game, you know? It's not like you don't have that much to load. You're not loading enemy avatars. Rumble. And, you know, you're not loading anything moving. So, it's like, what's what's the hold up? Ow, stop it. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Because, of course, it's another enemy that doesn't freaking stagger like ever. There we go. Sweet. Well, at least this one didn't have any friggin' murderous um, casters in it. That's nice. Okay. I forgot to go easy on you. Hopper and automaton. Cool. I'd love to get some. I actually need some mini automatons, so hopefully I'll find some of those at some point. Oh god. Oh, what? What now? Stop! W what is it? There's a trap. Don't move another inch. Wait, why? Why would there be a trap? We came here through. We came through here before, and there was no trap. Ah, here it is. Found it. What do you think, Jay? Hmm. Yes, Norma's right. Hey, why are you checking with Jay when I just told you what it was? It's a matter of credibility, that's all. Oh, okay, I see. Hey, wait a minute! Easy, if you shout too loud, you might set off the trap. What, is it sound sensitive? Don't be ridiculous, that won't happen. Are you kidding? Did you hear something just now? I did. I got a bad feeling about this. Ugh! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> hmm? Did we lose someone? Nope, we're all here. Everything's fine. Nothing, never been better, actually. <laughs> Time for me to disarm this trap. Bring it on! Oh my, this is getting fun. It's so exciting. Yeah, yeah. Does it look like you can disarm it? can't proceed without removing removing it, can we? Well, it's not like the friggin' Darius emblem. It's not in our way. Hmm, this one's a toughie. Um, aren't we gonna go help Moses? 
Huh? Did Red run off somewhere? <laughs> wow. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, he's just right down there. Huff, huff, bubbles. You're gonna pay for this. <laughs> Y'all just wait. God. Yeah, he, he only got dropped that far. It's not a big deal. Bubbles! Oh, welcome back. You're all right? How boring. You say something, Jay! Ah, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Are the traps still armed? Well, yeah, about that. Oops. Or, oops. What was that click? We heard that same sound. Oh, wait, we heard that same sound a moment ago. Why is everybody looking at me? Ha! Ah. <laughs> Jay, what's that about? Oh, just joking, Moses. Moses, Jay, that's enough. Our ship sails in the morning, because we're on a ship, and it's probably morning right now, so we are literally on our ship that sails in the morning. Anyway, Norma, can, you can disarm them, right? Relax, we're safe now. How can you be so sure? Because I set them all off. Oh, pfft, wow. So now there aren't any left. That's helpful. Sennel? I'm worn out. Anyway, let's get moving. I just don't have it like you did, Master. I wonder if I'm really cut out for this. Norma, hurry up. I'll be right there. I'll be okay, right? I can do this, right? Norma! I said I'll be right there. Oh, well. She did... <laughs> Well, nobody died. It wasn't a big deal. Anyway. You know, honestly, I have a question. What's the point of a trap like that? It's like, oh, we're going to make this trap. It's going to be really cool. And all it's going to do is it's going to drop you back down. And then you got to walk Grace back up again. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to be dangerous or anything like that. It's just going to be really inconvenient. Yeah. I'm a devious bastard. Oh, get me out of here. I would really much rather fight enemies outside the dungeons than fight them inside, because the ones inside are usually really annoying. Because, you know, they're like automatons and like deadly freaking casters and stuff. Okay, here we go. But yeah, at least I know my way around here very easily. Like, it's not mazy at all. Just, oh, oh, good. Oh my god, you I hate you. I hate you so much. Okay. No. I'm not fighting. Okay, I'll fight to see what happens. I'm not gonna use any TP though. Stop turning me around. I hate it when it does that. Oh my god. Okay. Get me the hell out of here. Now, next time on Tales of Legendia, we're gonna tackle this next um puzzle booth. So, I will see you guys then.